300 petals. 300 pieces. One more! Eight to nine thousand strands. <laughs> I've already done some big decorating in the living room. I think it's kind of a dark academia vibe and I love it, but also I think it's too serious. I think it needs a touch of whimsy, like big whimsy. When I moved into this house, it was filled with a bunch of stuff. And amongst those were a bunch of pillows and lamps. And some of those were treasures, but some were not. So combining it with all of our junk, we do have a lot of stuff that we need to get rid of. Some of it goes in the trash, some of it is donated, and some of it I can experiment on for the better or the worse. <laughs> so today we are destroying old pillows. I'm sorry, but this is a no. This, uh, this is kind of okay, but actually I made it to hide a bunch of ugly pillows. I don't really know where they came from, so we are washing everything on hot. I don't care if some of them get destroyed. Later. We can destroy all of this and that will give us a bunch of free batting. Okay, the first pillow actually has the worst batting. I did save some, but most of it was just beyond saving. And it makes so much dust. I would say 50% was saved. But that's okay, because I have a ton more pillows to destroy. This one is much better. Much more fluffy and it gives us a ton of batting for free, which is the best kind. Either way, destroying all those old things really made me happy. Very uh, therapeutic, uh, you might say. So that's already a lot of batting. And there are still pillows left and that's not even half that I wanted to destroy because I have so many ugly pillows. So let's see what we can do with this first. I have these three colors for the cushion and whoa, my hair is so red in this light. So I don't know if this color is too blue, but I think with the two others, it's going to match or make a make a nice assortment of colors of leaves. The colors change a lot depending on the light, so it should be fine. I start with the most uh, leaf shape I can think of, adding some random veins and just filling it up with uh, batting. So I finished one and I think it's kind of cute. It's all fluffy. Maybe it's a bit small to actually use as a... Yeah. But most of the thing is like the point and I want it to be more round so it's more useful. Maybe I need some reference. Allez viens, on va jardiner. One is just because I liked the yellow. <laughs> it's very similar to what I've done. This one is just funny. <laughs> this one would be great as a cushion. This one also great as a cushion, but I don't think it's interesting enough as well. This one is quite cool. It will just look like a heart, which is basically my previous project. And my favorites are these. I think the ivy shape will be perfect for the dark green and whatever is left from the light green. I can decide between those two. But this one is so cute. So I guess we're going with the ivy, which will be more recognizable as I simplify it for the pillow. No need for a pattern, we're just going with vibes on this one. The decoration on top will be made using my regular sewing machine. I think maybe an embroidery machine will be even better, but for now a simple zigzag stitch on the sewing machine will be perfectly fine. The second identical layer is pinned on top and sewn all around the edge. Nothing complicated. It is very important to clip the butt crack of your leaf and also the points, as well as all the curved edges. Then the whole thing can be turned inside out and stuffed with the batting, or anything that you want to make discreetly disappear. Cute, but I think we can make a bigger one. Then we can do the same steps again. I think it is a very simple project and this exact technique can be done in any color, any shape, any fabric. I'm sure you can imagine plenty of fun-shaped pillow to make for your house. Animals, emojis, 
any food, I don't know, bricks. <laughs> it's fun, easy, useful. You can match your home decor, make them into gifts. So that's uh, one more. A few more of the long ones in the lighter green. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the little opening where you can put the filling in, uh, you can close it by hand with a matching thread. It won't be very noticeable. New day, new sweater. Today we finish all the pillows. Cushions, pillows, I don't know what's the uh, etiquette. Uh... Okay, there is not enough green fabric to make more pillows anymore, which is fine. I have this much left with the lighter green. I still have more things that I want to destroy. Say bye. This is a duvet. Maybe we can salvage this fabric. But either way, it's very unpleasant to have it on you because it's like plasticky and it's not, it's not nice. And this blanket that, uh, I made a hole in the center because look, it ended up less warm than a sweater and less cozy than a blanket, but uh, yeah. So I can make two big leaves that are a blanket on one side and green on the other and using the batting of this one. The big leaves are just sandwiching those three layers and sewing all around the edge. The plan with this double-sided thing is to use it to protect my couches and chairs from someone who keeps losing their white hair over everything. Someone who technically is not supposed to live in my house, but kind of does. Yeah. But it can also be a cover for my cold feet when I'm watching a movie in winter. Some more veins on it, it is basically quilting. And with that we are done, we can move on to the next project. Next day, and I need for a convention in a few hours, I need to prepare a costume. <laughs> I'm going to a convention because I am a helper on a, on a show for a group of cosplayers. They are doing Beauty and the Beast, la belle et la bête on stage. If you want to know what I did, I am the second house on the left. <laughs> bonjour, 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 bonjour. It was quite ambitious because they are not professional, but it went actually really well. We were 22 people on stage. It featured actual live singing. They did the choreography, the role play, all their costumes. They worked so hard. Even though, of course, the star of the show was the second house on the left that I put on the wrong side at one point, but... Uh, it was the only time, okay? Sorry. I hope it wasn't too noticeable. <laughs> but show must go on. It was an hour and a half long, featuring some very serious lip-syncing skills, so much humor. All of that so that the public could enjoy it for free at the convention. I am so proud of all of them. What an awesome and talented and just so nice group of people. The group is called Event Chilla if you want to show them some support on Instagram. And I will put the social media of everyone on stage in the description because they are just the best. I hope that the public of the convention enjoyed it. Well, I think, I think they did because there was a lot of applause. <laughs> and that they get to do more shows. I'm exhausted, but it was awesome. <laughs> Going back to work. Now that we are cozy, I think we need some light. And that means decluttering more old cheap stuff from my garage. <laughs> right there. Ta-da! 
These are from Ikea. I think they are 10 years old. Uh, I remember they were about 10 euros. This one maybe a bit older. I think they still make it. It is like the cheapest lamp. This one is not from Ikea, but uh, it's basically the same thing. So I think they are perfect to turn into big flowers. I was thinking pink flowers, but I don't think this fabric is going to work for my living room. Unfortunately, because I love pink. But if we go to yellow, I need a plastic fabric. This is a polyester, so it's good, but I don't have much of it. I think this one also is polyester, so they should work well together. I think we can make them at different heights, make them more organic. are old curtains made of polyester and I'm going to cut them using heat with a... to the garage! The soldering iron will cut through the synthetic fabric and the cooking paper will keep it from sticking to your plank. Also this thing is really 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 hot. Much more than the one on your ironing table so really be careful <laughs> please. Also cutting them one by one uh, too slow. This is not going well. The petals are not really pretty I don't think like the hot glue and the wire is not strong enough. I don't have any more wire. The hot glue doesn't look Great. I, I tried sewing the wires, but it's really annoying and it's going to take a while because I need a million petals. I tried white glue on the organza to make it more stiff and it works, but it looks so ugly. Yeah. If I made just ruffles of organza, it's not so bad. I tried to melt it at the edges. I think it looks organic. Uh, I need to run to the store for some wire. Uh, I'm back. Wire. A few moments later. Okay, I think we have it. Hot glue is not good. It's coming off and it is looking not very nice. And here we have a good prototype. It's kind of dirty and it's not the right shape, but it works. It has the structure, it has the transparency. I like that the burnt edges are not exactly in the same place. I think it's more natural. Now for one flower to look good, I think it needs between 20 to 30 petals. And this one will be smaller, so that's... Uh, I think 100 petals will be enough. They are all two layers, so I need to cut 200 petals. And uh, 300 pieces of wire. <laughs> last day of the flowers. Please enjoy my Grecian blanket. So we can assemble all the petals. I thought of that using hot glue, but I think I'm going to use extreme ducting, ultra strength with muscles. And also more flowers. Do you remember this? They were the plastic stems from my Hydrangy address, and I think I finally have a use for them. This video is supported by the lovely people on my Patreon. I feel so lucky and grateful to have just people enjoying my work enough to support me. It had not been easy this year. I honestly don't know where I'm going in life. Creating on this channel has been a breath of fresh air for me, sometimes an overwhelming responsibility. I mean, when I'm burned out, nobody's going to make my videos for me. I have my ups and downs, I guess everybody does, but knowing that I have, uh, let's say, a creative responsibility for these people, it really helps to keep going. There is no structure for YouTube creators. Besides making a video file, there's no rule. We need to make every single choice, so when it's not working out, it's entirely my fault. 
I don't know, content creation is so weird. But if you feel like supporting me, come and join the Patreon. I will put the link in the description. Thank you so much. Update on the Mugler project. If you don't know, I'm trying to recreate this dress, the Chimera by Mugler. And it is such a big dress that I asked the community to participate and make it into an international project. Anyone who wants to participate can make a scale. I have to be able to sew it by machine. It has to be very flat and washable on a delicate side. Other than that, it can be any color, any texture. I encourage you to try a new technique if you want. Because it's such a small canvas, you can do anything on it. I keep receiving packages that I'm opening on live stream. So many people are participating. I'm just overwhelmed by the reaction. This is just so awesome. Do you know how many I have? 2015! We need to at least fill this box. Maybe a second one? I don't know. It's really hard to estimate on the rest how many there are because there are all different sizes. I think it's between 5,000 to 10,000. And of course, every color is a surprise, so I actually don't know what the color of the dress is going to be. I might even have to alter the design a little bit depending on how many. Look at all the work people have done. I put the link with the pattern and instructions in the description, but it can be all kinds of different fun fabrics. I only ask if possible if you can make it shiny. We have a lot of very cool sequin fabrics. People have added their own sequins. We have different types of embroidery, by hand or otherwise. Anything for decoration. Doing beading and uh, paint. This can be an excuse for you to try a different craft on a small scale. <laughs> And when I have enough, I can start actually making the thing, which is starting to be a lot of pressure. <laughs> I've also been sent this very good book. This is called Griffé, where they go into detail into one designer at a time. And even for me, some super nice info on this dress. Like some work in progresses that I've never seen anywhere before. So this is where we are now. I will keep you posted on the advancement and now we can go back to the project. Now the final part of this project is making a rug. And I've actually been working on this for four months. <coughs> and it's not even done. The technique is called latch hooking. You need this tool. This is a latch hook. You can see it has latch. You need a net kind of material and a few thousand strands of any wool. You take your little piece and fold it in half. Get your hook through it. The hook goes through a hole. And when it's coming back, you can see that the latch is closing. So before it closes, you just put your wool again in it. Then you keep pulling and uh, well, that's it. You have a little knot, it's secure and voila. And I've been doing this for months in live streams, uh, while watching movies, uh, YouTube videos. Basically, whenever I had a little time and my hands free, I'm carrying my little box of wool all around with all those strands that are pre-cut. There's about eight to nine thousand strands. <laughs> Roughly 60 hours of work. I barely have enough to finish, but I think it's gonna be okay. I think I need maybe 12 more hours. But at some point I need to get the video out. So we will cheat a little bit for the reveal, but I'm going to finish it. I had to piece the net together in some places because it wasn't uh, big enough, but I think it looks like pixel art from the back. Look, it is very relaxing to do. So after I finish the wool, what is left is uh, just cutting off the excess, folding it and sewing it by hand. Then I will glue on a backing, probably felt, and sew a strong ribbon on the edge to protect it. And maybe some brushing and a little haircut. Some strands are a bit longer than the others. But it's very fluffy and we do have enough for the reveal. So I will see you there. Subscribe. If you want to know how I renovated the rest of the living room, I will put the video right there. But feel free to explore my channel for a ton of crafting videos. Thanks for watching, bye!